The Australian economist Martin Revalian comes from a modest background, and this marked in part the theme for his career as a researcher. I realized I wanted to use technical, my technical abilities or my analytic abilities for something important in, in, in the world, and, and poverty struck me as um, a good candidate. Revalian was pioneer in the measurement of poverty, and in 1991 he set the threshold of extreme poverty at $1 per person per day as the amount needed to guarantee the necessary calories to survive. Measuring poverty has been the key to allow governments, agencies and NGOs to set goals and develop plans and policies. That is why the contribution of Revalian has earned the BBVA Foundation Frontiers of Knowledge Award for Development Cooperation. One of the striking things is how important information about the lives of poor people has, has been to informing public action. All these things require data on poor people to understand their lives, to describe how they, how they make, their, make a living, where they live, the demographics of their household. This economist, who was head of the World Bank's Development Research Group, also showed that although growth is necessary, it is not always sufficient to reduce poverty, and sometimes it must be accompanied by public policies. Typically it's the case that uh, economic growth benefits poor people. But there are exceptions, and also it's really important to, to recognize that the same rate of growth can produce very different outcomes for poor people, depending on the initial conditions in the economy. The World Bank has set the goal of eliminating poverty by 2030, and Revalian doesn't see this as impossible. An ambitious target that requires a lot of good policies and also a measure of good luck. But he warns that difficulties may arise from global crises or climate change.